Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or another video. Today, first I want to start off that I am actually in a new setup. So I got a new chair and a new little in the corner of my room so I can do these videos and you can see my little table next to me is fall themed. You can do a little scarecrow guy with some pumpkins. And I don't think you can really tell right now, but in another video you, you'll be able to see that this wall ha now has a bunch of shopping bags on it, which is really cute. Um, today I am going to be doing a video um, kind of based on struggles that I've gone through in my life and that most teenagers, kids go through in their life. Um, before I get started, I want to make it clear that if you are having any problems or anything, just comment them down below and I will try to respond as to the best of my ability. Um, so anyways, I have just a few key points just written down just so I don't lose track of what I am saying. Um, and I do have a bit of a cold, so if you're hearing that, that is that. So everybody has insecurities of their own throughout their life, not even when you're a kid. It really changes. Everyone kind of goes through similar ones. Um, these are all kind of wrapped into one. But what I have, body, self-esteem, confidence, and then negative or positive. Um, everybody has insecurities about their body or something about them physically that they wish were different. I've gone through that. I go through that every day. Most people go through it every day. It sucks, but it's part of life. You'll never... It's healthy to have insecurities about yourself. If you don't, I would be... I'm very shocked if someone doesn't because it's very common to. Um, I would just... If you're, if you're constantly seeing the negative in yourself, just try and find something positive in, in yourself. Just something that you like on your body or about you, and that, that will help you see less of your insecurities. Or it will help your insecurities not take over your life. Because I know through, through experience that if you let an insecurity get the best of you, it won't turn out good. It, re it won't. Self-esteem. Self-esteem is kind of how you feel about yourself. So it does have to do with body is part of it, but it's just kind of, kind of your mood almost. Like positive or negative. If your self-esteem is really negative, like you're like, I hate myself. I don't, I suck at this. I can't do this. I hate this. That means you have a bad self-esteem. Like you're not positive towards yourself. And most of my life, my, I'm going to be honest, my self-esteem has not been the best. I'm a very negative person when it comes to me. I try and be positive to help others, but when it comes to me, I'm normally negative. Even if I'm the so good at something, I like to think I suck at it, which is not healthy. Similar to the body, just try and see the good in something. If you're doing something and maybe you're just started so you don't have the most experience so you're not the best at it just try and find something that you are good at I don't know say like you started like a new sport or something and it was like whatever gymnastics right and for the most part you were like it wasn't you are you aren't great at it but say you're good at b bars you're good at bars and then just focus on the thing that you're good at at first. It will help you. And then kind of going into more um, confidence also has to do with this. Confidence in yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever. Just you have confidence in, in yourself. You're able to go out in the world and say something good about yourself. That's part of confidence. Being able to say something that you truly feel that you like about yourself out in the pub, out in the open. It takes a lot to be confident. Being confident is is including like going in front of a big crowd and saying a speech. You have to have confidence to do that and it's hard for people who are like stage fright to do that do stuff like that. 
but you you don't no one starts off with 100% confidence you have to build up to it and no one ends up with 100% confidence you can't get there you're never 100% confident in every single thing you do or about you but you can work your way up to getting better and then I talked about neg negativity and positivity just try and I'm not saying you can't just switch from negative to positive overnight. It doesn't work that way. And again, you'll never be 100% positive, but just work your way up. Just if you start off, the, these are just numbers. I don't, no one's going to know their actual percentage, but you start off at 75% negative. Maybe every day you try and do one good deed, just one simple th small thing, like holding the door for someone or using your manners more often or something that just makes you feel better about yourself makes you feel like you're doing something good um these last ones are a little bit more like personal like these are all personal but these ones are like i feel like they're not like as common but like they are and the first one i have is like feeling alone like feeling like you have no one to talk to I promise you, even if you feel like you do, there's someone that you know or someone out there that will listen to you and will help you. Even at the time you feel like they're not helping you, they what, what they're saying or doing will help you out in the long run. It's really important to just listen. And even if it's making you frustrated, just take the information and just try and see it in a different way than what your brain might be thinking. Because... Sometimes, sometimes you do need to be alone. It's, it's a fair thing. Sometimes you do need your space. But after a while, you can't just be alone forever. You have to get someone there that can help you. That can listen to you and teach you something new. Feeling misunderstood is a big one. Um, I want you to, a lot of people are really scared to speak up if someone misunderstands them or takes them wrongly like thinks that there's something or they did something they said something different than what actually happened and it's important that if you if you don't speak up then you will end up getting in trouble for that action or just something will happen that doesn't benefit you you have to speak up for what you know is right if you don't it's especially for younger people if you don't learn to speak up when you're young you won't be able to speak up when you're older and it will scare you because you can't you feel like you don't have a voice which is really important for people you're allowed to speak your mind as long as it's nice to whoever you're saying it to you have to be able to say what you believe in and last one is being used um there's many different ways of being used in the world um for me personally what i think when i think of being used is if you are if there's something that whatever your parent your coach your teacher whatever is is doing and you know that whatever they're doing it's not like mandatory or like you don't have to do it like there's an option yes or no and they're forcing you to do it like that's kind of being used like if there's an option for something and someone's forcing you to do it and you don't want to do it you can tell that person that you don't want to do it again that's kind of the misunderstood thing they might think that you want to do it but in reality you might not and you should be allowed to say that also, like, being used is, like, being, like, for example, being used for to do someone else's homework. Just, like, don't, if there's something that is a responsibility for someone else, you shouldn't be doing it or not, not, not doing all of it for them. Because then they will never learn. And then you're just doing their work and their responsibility, which is their responsibility, not yours. Um, so, anyways... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions or just anything you want to just lay out there, just please make sure to comment it down below. And I hope this video was helpful and I hope you like my new setup and bye guys!